Drake is relentless. This guy just dropped an AI track with Tupac on it. Kendrick, we need ya. The West Coast savior. Ain't great in your name and some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. And an AI verse from Snoop Dogg. Got you know the DOG never fucking doubted you. But right now, it seems like you posted up without a clue of what the fuck you about to do. And then he even rapped a verse as well. I'm definitely about to come around the lane gang and let my fucking bow move. Shitting on you niggas from a whole different album. Altitude, high up in the sky like I'm Howard Hughes. The first one really only took me an hour or two. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. He rapped in Tupac's voice saying that the West Coast needed him and then also trying to say that Snoop Dogg was disappointed in him after he passed the torch to him and all these different things and how he has to come out and respond. This dude Drake is just a absolute character. Like, bro, you <laughs> you have this much time on your hands to go ahead and make an AI track with Tupac's voice and send it at Kendrick talking about he needs to respond and also said the reason why he hasn't responded yet is because Taylor Swift just dropped her album and he doesn't want his track to get overshadowed by Taylor Swift. Drake is like the supreme king of petty. He always finds ways to get himself in the mix with something and it's just... It's funny at this time. All I can do is laugh because this beef has just kept transpiring and transpiring ever since Drake responded. He keeps trying to draw Kendrick out the hole like, hey, come out and play. Hey, where are you, Kendrick? Come out and play. We got something out here for you. You know, it's it, this whole role is just funny to me. Drake even responded to the fact that the Budden podcast said that he liked young girls and that he told Kendrick in Tupac's voice to respond about that and use it in the diss track. He is completely trolling everybody right now with the way that he's handling this whole situation. I'm just curious to see what K-Dot does from here because I feel like he's gonna have something in tuck. And it's just funny that, you know, Drake just keeps trying to find a way to make him come out right now. Not later, but right now. He said that you're supposed to be the boogeyman unless this is a case of you just telling us that's not really you. Bruh, like, I don't even know what to say at this point because he keeps trying to just feed into this fire and hope that Kendrick's just gonna come out, like, out of the blue right now whenever he wants him to. Oh man, let's keep listening. He used Snoop Dogg's voice to call out Kendrick and say that he's never been to jail, never shot anybody, never been in fights, any of these different things that's in the hood and that he's just using the homies. I really wonder how Snoop Dogg is gonna feel about this AI version of his voice being used by Drake, if he's gonna see it as funny or if he's gonna take it as offensive. Drake also raps in his own voice that he's gonna come around the Lang gang, which is PG Lang, Kendrick's label, and he said he's gonna have a bowel movement and shit up on him. So that part's not friendly. He's telling him, I'm shitting on y'all, and I'm gonna come right up to you and do it. Drake also tells Kendrick that the diss verse that he shot at him only took him an hour or two to write it to be able to send that shot at Kendrick. To be able to send that shot at Kendrick. And then he said the next one is gonna bring the coward out of you. So he's saying that he's gonna be so scared. He said the next one's gonna bring the coward out of you. So he's telling Kendrick that he's gonna be so scared to even respond back to him again if he disses him a second time after Kendrick responds to this first diss that Drake did. Drake also tells Kendrick that he's not gonna let him run away from this one and that he's gonna be called out on this and he's not, he's not gonna get away this time. So Drake absolutely wants a response. I don't know if it's just his ego or if he really just hopes that Kendrick responds so he can fire up the next one. But overall, Drake is not letting it go. And I feel like he's gonna keep doing little things week over week to hopefully get Kendrick to come out as long as it takes for Kendrick to come out and start spitting these bars. I'm hoping that Kendrick comes back quick with the diss track because I'm ready to hear it. I wanna see what direction he goes, see what way he talks about Drake and how aggressive and vicious he attacks Drake. It could really get West Coast in here. And I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. Are they gonna keep this on wax or what? Because I mean, this it's it's a comedy show at this time, you know, and Drake finds it funny. And I really, really, at this point, feel like he does not have any animosity towards Kendrick because he's really making light of the whole situation. But he does hope that Kendrick actually responds to him so that he can respond again. Saying that Taylor Swift is the biggest gangster in the game and that Drake even moved his album back because Taylor Swift was releasing and she was gonna drop a million on his head top. 
is just funny because he's really just digging into that insinuation that Kendrick is dodging releasing his record because he knew that Taylor Swift was going to drop an album and that he has to ask her for clearance to be able to drop his music. Boy, we got some wild times ahead and these beefs are unprecedented. Even if it's not the most lyrical, miracle style that we used to hear back in the day when we had the Jays, the Nas's, Wu-Tang Clans, Mob Deep, all those guys, this is fun. It's very much fun and entertaining beef. And so far, it seems like everybody's keeping it on wax because I haven't heard anything like really, really disrespectful that requires a different type of response from an artist. I'm excited to keep seeing what happens from here because it's getting very, very interesting. Shit better be crazy. We're waiting on you. I love all the artists that are involved in these beefs, but I'm hoping to get more music from them because this is absolutely one of the funnest seasons that I've experienced in hip hop and rap in years. And it's got me excited. People texting me, DMing me, letting me know when things drop if I don't hear it first or see it first. So you got to love it. You got to love it. If you love music, especially hip hop music, you got to love the competitive spirit that everybody's showing. Thanks for watching Splashers. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other videos if you haven't already. And I will be coming to you guys with the Chris Brown and Quavo diss part two video because I'm hearing now that Chris Brown actually dissed Quavo again after Quavo's response. Catch you guys on the next one. Splash Talk.